the law and become a member of the bar, it is a good thing to do. So much speech has been given on this epoch-making occasion. The Minister of Justice has spoken. The distinguished president of the bar. The minister, Mr. Project. has spoken to about this project. On behalf of the judiciary of Nigeria, I'd like to appreciate the FCT ministers. But for your right hand person, the Minister of State, who has been cooperating with your excellency very well, on the various projects you've executed. We appreciate you greatly. We know you love the judiciary. The whole world is aware of what you did in the state where you were the chief executive for the federal judiciary, for the state judiciary, judicial officers, and I knew that as soon as you got to the FCT, the federal judiciary is going to have it quite well. Thank you very much, the Honorable Minister of the FCT. And I want to congratulate Mr. President of the Court of Appeal. Congratulate you so much that what you are having is a great thing. You've gotten the division of the court in Abuja managing the court, managing the small space, the hook pipe. Now you have 10 courtrooms and offices in a five-story building. Ah, no, congratulations, though. And when the Minister of Justice thought this could take two years, and your Lordship was asking for nine months, I had the Minister of the FCT saying the project itself would take six months. <laughs> On behalf of the judiciary, once again, Mr. Project, the Honorable Minister of the FCT. We thank you very much. We appreciate you for this that you are doing. You've just told the whole world that not only the Court of Appeal will benefit from your legacy, but also the heads of various courts and the other courts and I understand you had mentioned it that not even the APS court will be forgotten. That my brother justices of the Supreme Court are not here, but they said no, I should pass it on to the Honorable Minister of the FCT that we don't have any other place to go to other than the FCT. So we believe that your administration and the administration of your boss, the head of government, will not forget about the APS court in the legacy being given to the judiciary. We appreciate Mr. President and we through the Honorable Attorney General and your good self of the FCT convey our sincere appreciation and gratitude to Mr. President for all the things he has been doing and for the promises. We shall not disappoint. We shall not let you down. All the judiciary needs is to be left to function, to perform his role, you know, unhindered. But 
as much as possible. Like the president of the bar said, once you take care of the judiciary, you've taken care of justice. And if you cry for peace anywhere in the world without justice, there can be no peace. We guarantee peace. We promise to ensure that peace is given to whoever it is due so that we can all enjoy peace. Justice is important, is imperative. We promise we will always give justice. The epoch making today of breaking the ground for the construction of this edifice of five floors of the division. The headquarters remains the headquarters. The division of the Court of Appeal doesn't have to be part of the headquarters. And that is what has happened. We will use it well, we assure the minister. And the fact that you will also build for the court of your arm of the government, the FCT court, is also yearning for accommodation of his courts. Not only for the magistrates, the courts too, they need courtrooms and chambers. You get there, you wonder whether FCT it was just created a few weeks ago. Give judges beautiful offices, chambers, well furnished, not of upholstery, of the things to work with. Then you've done the best for justice. I congratulate the, everybody that has to do with the judiciary. And there's nobody, if not now, it could be later, that will not have one thing or the other to do with the judiciary. The Honorable Ministers of the FCT, we appreciate you. We thank you very much. God bless everybody for coming to participate in this. Thank you very much. You could not wait for him to arrive to receive us because of our excitement to take possession of this premises before something happens. So we rushed him, but we were well received by my dear sister, the Minister of State, um, Dr. Maria. So you will, Maria Mahmoud, she welcomed us heartily and we quickly moved in so that we are not pushed out. Thank you. My Lord, the Honorable, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, my boss, my elder brother, and he refers to me as his friend. I feel unworthy of that, but I receive it. My Lord, Honorable Justice Oluka Yode Ariola, GCON. My laws, the presiding justice of the Abuja Division and justices of the Court of Appeal, Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Chief Nye Som, Wike, CON, Member Body of Benchers, plus, plus, Uh, His Excellency, the Honorable the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Chief Prince Latif O. Fagbemi, 
HCN, Her Excellency, the Honorable the Minister of State of the Federal Capital Territory, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, of several uh, titles. The President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Yakubu C. Mekiao, SAN, the Chief Registrar of the Court of, uh, sorry. I always apologize because I know I will mess up with the protocol. I know there are heads of courts here, the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, the Chief Judge, um, the President of the National Industrial Court, the Chief Judge of the um, Federal Capital Territory. We also I want to borrow leave from the practice at the appellate court, both the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court. It is not then say, I have witnessed it. When judgment is given, has been given by one of the justices, others don't waste time. All they say is, I have listened or I have had the privilege of reading in draft. The judgment just delivered by my noble lord, Honorable Justice X. I agree with it. It's either I have something to add or not. In my own case, I just have a few words to add. But I first of all adopt in total the speech delivered by my very good friend, my president, Mikhail, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, President of Nigerian Bar Association. And I say that it is with immense pleasure and pride that I stand before you today at this groundbreaking ceremony of the Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal Complex. The occasion marks a significant milestone in our ongoing efforts to enhance the judiciary's infrastructure and capacity, ensuring justice is acceptable to all, irrespective of tribe, ethnicity, and religion. I would like to seize this opportunity to commend His Excellency President Bola Metinobo, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, Bola Metinobo GCFR, for his unwavering support to the judiciary. The recently passed remuneration bill for judicial officers by the National Assembly is a testament to this commitment to ensuring that our judicial officers are at least reasonably, you cannot never be adequately compensated, reasonably compensated and motivated to perform your duties with diligence and integrity. These progressive steps will undoubtedly strengthen the judiciary and enhance the administration of justice in our nation. Furthermore, I extend my sincere heartfelt gratitude to the indefatigable Mr. Fixit, Mr. Project, the Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Barista. Chief Yusom Wiki, C-O-N, Life Venture, for his exceptional leadership and steadfast support for the judiciary. Your dedication to this project and your overall contributions to the legal community have been instrumental in making this day possible. It is one thing to dream it is another thing to realize your dream. If you did not initiate it, there is nothing the Federal Executive Council can do. You have the option to venture into other areas, and I know you are doing it, but it is the turn of the judiciary. Gone were those days when judiciary was uh, uh, regarded as the last hope of common man. I take objection to it. 
it is the big people now who patronize the judiciary, not even the common man. And if you have any doubt, when ex um, election is approaching, come and see the way, with all respect, some people behave like life, I mean, rain-beating chicken. Forgive me, I don't mean to be rude. So the judiciary is no longer the last hope of common man alone. It is also, or majorly now, the last hope of the big shots. The establishment, I know that Chief Yesom Wike will not embark on a project he has no intention of completing. That is one. It's not just a show of, oh, I have um, turned the sword. I assure you, if you come here in another one and a half, two years without compromising quality, you will have very, very good news uh, to relay. Somebody mentioned that, oh, um, the, the first person who came here said, a doctor, is, some, that is an engineer, Barrister Yosom Wike is a lawyer. From the number of projects that he has executed, I wonder if Corin will not consider whether this is not the appropriate time to put him in. I appreciate your contribution, and I want to say that I also know that the Minister of State, Dr. Miriam Mahmoud, is also there giving you support. We'll appreciate you a great deal, much more than you think we ever do. Thank you. The establishment of this complex is not just a testament to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's commitment to upholding the rule of law, but also an acknowledgement of the vital role of the, judici the judiciary plays in maintaining peace, order, and fairness in our society. Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal will serve as a beacon of hope for many, providing a conducive environment for the delivery of justice. You have about 10 justices, I mean 10 courtrooms at a time. So, my noble Lord the President, I know the good thing you are doing, the good things that you are doing. The other day, you were traversing the country to Lagos. Oh, Lagos come, oh, we are coming. Then from there you went to Ibadan, from Ibadan to, uh, I think, Ogun State. You have 10 rooms who will save you the agony of flying in rough weather. We have 10 solid courtrooms where you can, you know, invite your justices to come and sit from Enugu to Apakaleke, Kaduna, Zaria, and all that, and Ijagbo, if need be. As we lay the foundation today, let me also renew our commitment to the principles of justice, integrity, and service. Let this complex be a place where truth prevails, rights are protected, and justice is served without fear favor or ill will. My Lord, the Honorable, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, reaching you to re, I mean, to, as a point of contact to everybody, I want to say that your being here today and for your continued support, we appreciate. Together, we are building a brighter future for our nation. Please accept as seizure the assurances of my highest esteem. I'm grateful. I am delighted because of the opportunity to do this while the gentleman that we have as Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barrister Yusun Wike, and with all due respect, is my member.
and an illustrious member of the Nigerian Bar Association at that. Also a bencher. And for those of you who know who the body of benchers is, the body of benchers is that body that collects or has collected persons of remarkable distinction in the legal profession. The Honorable Minister is a life bencher. That is to say, until death do them pass, he remains, he remains a member of that body. And of course, supported by our amiable Minister of State, who from all indications has been very supportive of the Minister. And I want to say congratulations to your leadership. Let me take the liberty here as the president of the Nigerian Bar Association to say and announce to the world that the Nigerian Bar Association is proud of the use of Wiki. My, my Lord, the chair of the Legal Practitioners Privileges Committee, my tongue was going to describe the Honorable Minister as the use of Wiki Senior Advocate of Nigeria. But, but perhaps that is an application that I'm making today for his lordship to consider, but not without satisfying the requirement. So we wish to begin to see in use of Wiki in court so that he would also satisfy the requirements and he will add that uh, to his feather. But my lord, th this event is very, very remarkable. In the history of this country, not only the history of the court, the Federal Capital Territory was established in 1976, the same year that the Court of Appeal of Nigeria was established. Before Barista in use of weekend, we've had 16 ministers that served in the Federal Capital Territory from 1976. It is only when we now have a lawyer a member of the Nigerian Bar Association, steer the affairs of this ministry that we are having a ceremony such as this. This is not a coincidence. It is because only the lawyers have this to give. Because Nemo Dad could non habit. You cannot give what you do not have. And with due respect to those who had served as ministers previously and the previous administrations, if they had had justice in focus, if they had given attention to that which is responsible for our existence as a nation, which is justice, this would have happened a long time ago. But like I said, you can only give what you have. You can only do as much as what you know. So I would want to declare with all humility and with all sense of responsibility, and I apologize to the previous ministers, that it is only today that we have found 48 years after the creation of the FCT, 48 years, that we have found someone who has justice in him and this is simply an expression of the justice that he has inside of him. And we also have someone who knows about justice and the implication of justice, that it is an important component of the existence of this country. And that is why we are having this administration bring us together for this groundbreaking ceremony. But you know, the Honorable Minister is enjoying an enablement from the administration that we have today as a nation. The administration of Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR. It is very clear that the duo have a clear understanding of the importance of justice to the existence of every nation. We have just, by the special grace of God, seen the passage 
of the bill for the review of the salaries and allowance, upward review of the salaries and allowances of judicial officers in this country, which was last done in 2007, the last time that any judicial, any of the judicial officers seated here, and with due respect, including the Honorable the Chief Justice of Nigeria, received any upward review of his salary was in 2007. Needless to say that we've had several regimes or several administrations since then, before, before now. But it took this administration by the special grace of God to consider favorably 300% upward review. If you know nothing about justice, you will not give attention to this. And if you don't have justice in you, you will not also do this. And that is why I must thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, for having a heart for justice. And that is why also we must be thankful to him for not also only giving us a minister who is a lawyer, but one who understands the essence of justice, but also carefully choosing the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Prince Latif Fagbemi, who understands the subject of justice. And permit me to say, if he ever paid house rent before, he used the practice of justice to do so. So he understands it so well. And he has helped in driving all the process, or processes of this administration with respect to the administration of justice. And that is why, for the first time ever, we would see a justice reform summit that was held under this administration. There are too many things to mention that this administration has done. And that is because, like I said, they understand the place of justice. And I want to say, sir, congratulations on this administration. Thank you for your heart for justice. The building of infrastructure is a complement of the dispensation of justice to the people. And I am from Kebi, and I like to say what Utsman Anfodio said about justice. He said, a people can exist without religion, but they cannot exist without justice. So in the heart of our existence is the presence of justice. And that is why the entire country must thank you. And by the way, this is not where you started. You have a track record of doing this, and we appreciate you. I'm glad that this is happening at a time when I'm privileged to be the president of the Nigerian Bar Association. And for emphasis, your president, sir. <laughs> and, and for my lords and the justices of this court for whom this is done, you being the ones that occupy this space at this time, and for many others who would come and occupy this space, I want to encourage you. We have done a lot to discourage you. We have maligned you. We have intimidated you. We've done all sorts of things, castigated you in the public for no reason at all. We use one same brush to paint all of you. Are we saying that we do not have challenges? No. But it is absolutely wrong to use one same brush and treat all our judges. If you look at the record, how many of the judges and justices do we have in this country that have been found wanting? Take the proportion, take the percentage. And I had cause to apologize to the judiciary at some point as one who is privileged to be the head of the bar. And I don't mind doing it again. We apologize for so many other times, so many times that we have said things that were not true about your lordships, that we've castigated your lordships. And to say to your lordships that I had cause to describe your lordships as egos, because that is who you are. And for your lordships to continue to remain focused in the dispensation of justice to the people, for us to exist 
as one nation, indivisible nation, your lordships must continue to be focused. And the way to be focused is not to mind the cross. Those cross are those little birds that perch on the back of eagle. The eagle does not mind them. All it does is that with its focus and purposefulness, it soars to an altitude. They get choked and suffocated. They get choked and they are suffocated. They fall off and the eagle continues to do its own job. That is who you are. That is who you must continue to be your lordship for you to continue to perform that constitutional responsibility that you have come to do. My member, we thank you, sir, for what you have done. It will be a great pleasure when this is completed to come here, take a bow before your lordship, their lordships, and conduct a matter, settle disputes for the betterment of this nation. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak at this meeting. I congratulate you, congratulate the judiciary and the people of this country because this is actually done for the purpose of dispensation of justice, which is the essence of our existence. I thank your lordships. Okay. Of the Court of Appeal, the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice. I don't know whether I'm going to read what was prepared for me, or I'm going to have the option of explaining to you how we arrived here. But first of all, let me thank my Lord, the Chief Justice, for accepting to be the special guest of honor today. Of course, it is an epoch-making history for you as the Chief Justice of Nigeria. It is during your time that you will have a full structure for the Court of Appeal Division of Abuja. So it is important for us to have that fact. So let me also thank my Lord, the President of the Court of Appeal, which is also an epoch making history that it is a time that the Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal will have its own full structure. It is not easy, like the, our sister said, everybody has their own destiny. It is your destiny that to be your own time that this will come to be. I also congratulate you. Let me thank the Attorney General. I can say this with authority. When this memo came to the Executive Council, in fact, I thought it was the President. Immediately, I was asked to present the memo. What came out for his mouth? Approve. I, I turned back. I said, Have you taken over the president uh, role? And president said, Approve. So that tells you the importance. The president, as a person, attaches to issues of judiciary and also the support we have from the president, attorney general. There are people who may be there and these issues will come up, who begin to talk about you should have carried me along. It has to do with the courts and the attorney general unnecessarily. But for him, immediately it was called, he said, approve, no discussion. Thank him so much for that. But of all, we must thank Mr. President. When the President of the Court of Appeal said he had, had his journey started. It was last year, then the uh, uh, legal uh, year. You know, sometimes when you make a request, and you see a politician accept, most of them don't agree. They say, forget it. Forget it, it not. But knowing the president we have and his commitment, I know it will come to reality. And so when he came back, I took this matter to Mr. President and said this was the request made by the President of the Court of Appeal and the CJN who was there emphasized it by telling me, please, 
We know what you have done in River State. We know you will not disappoint. Go and tell Mr. President I know it will be done. And I want to tell you wholeheartedly, Mr. President said, why do you need to wait? After all, it is the half city that rehabilitated the National Assembly phase one. It's the half city that rehabilitated the National Assembly phase two, which is an arm of government. So why are we not going to do this for this arm of uh, government? There are three arms of government. The executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. And must be treated equally. And he gave that approval. And I want to commend him. And that is the essence of the Read Hope agenda of Mr. President. Where so many people have lost hope. Well, it's a usual thing. There are politicians. They come and talk. His own is no. It's not that way. There are things that must be done if we want to get it right. And one of the things that must be done for this country to move is to put judiciary where they are supposed to be. You talk about justice, justice, justice. Who will implement justice without the judiciary? So, Mr. President does not play with it. I want to say, I will not be part of any project of this nature that will take two years. I won't be part of that. I will not be part of that. I will not be part of that. This is one project I have seen that's well covered in the budget. This project is going to cost us 37 billion naira. But in the budget, Mr. President has provided 30 billion naira. So the, the contractor has nothing to worry. So the Attorney General, you know I will not be a party to just to award contract for the sake of uh, awarding. If we don't want to do it, we say we don't want to do it. If we want to do it, we we'll go ahead and do it. So by September this year, you will, you will use this place for a legal year. I don't know whether the contractor is here. Where is the lawyer? Come. Turn like this to let us see. What I'm telling you now, you know this is judiciary. Don't collect money, you don't do the job. You know where I headed to? You know where I headed to? <laughs> now, you have collected the first set of money. I don't want to hear it has been raining. You collected the money when it was raining. So you must also do the job as it is uh, raining. So you have to make a commitment here. Are you going to finish this job and pack in September next year or not? No, come on, talk it here. By the grace of God, sir, will be done. By our own grace, we will not owe you. So be assured, it's a contract that was given to him to be in 16 months. But he has promised me with available funds, he can finish it in one year or 30 months. But if you calculate from now to September next year, we still have ample of uh, time. So prepare yourself that you do your next legal year, not in September, September is tomorrow, legal year in this division. Let me also say that Mr. President is not only consigned about building this alone. Mr. President has also provided that look, when he hears where judges are living, people who are involved in trying criminals, people who are involved in controversial cases, they are rented building. Tomorrow, the money is not there to pay, and then the contractor will be embarrassed, the, the landlord will be embarrassing them. That is not what we should have. We should have a judiciary where they have their own houses so they will be comfortable and carry out their duties. What Mr. President has done, I want to say it to all of us, that we should provide accommodation, 10 for the Court of Appeal, 10 for the Federal High Court, 10, no, 20 for the FCT Court. My Lord, if the DPP helps us on time, 
you lay the foundation of these 40 buildings for the Court of Appeal, for the City High Court, and the Federal uh, High Court before you retire. I will believe by August you have laid the foundation. The President has also not stopped there. He has said, well, we have several times in the executive, that look, as judges, when they retire, they have no other job to do. Unlike medical doctors, unlike engineers, who, when they retire, can go back to their practice. And in this case, this is not available for the justices and judges. And Mr. Perez said, look, we have to start somewhere. I have approved that the heads of court must have their retirement homes. Mr. President has approved the chief judge of the Federal High Court, the chief judge of the FCT, the president of the National Industrial Court, and the president of the Court of Appeal must have their retirement homes. And I want to assure you, by the grace of God, the foundation of these homes will be laid this August. And before that September, you all have your keys to your houses. Also because of the request made by the Chief Judge of the FCT, who have said that, look, they need more court rooms for the magistrates, particularly in Matama, Asokoro, and Garaki districts, that they need more court rooms. I want to say also that President has approved, as in the procurement process, now where is the ES, FCDA? It's in procurement now, for this to be awarded, we'll make sure that all these things are provided and completed before the next legal uh, year. We will not do, I'll say here, if a project is going to cost us 10 billion naira, for example, and in the budget you have 1 billion, it means that you don't want to do the project. Because by the time you pay 1 billion, it means that the contractor will just take his equipment and go there, leave it, before you bring another money, glasses would have taken over the place. For us, if we have a project that will cost us 10 billion, we must make sure at least 150 percent in the budget, so we know that we will implement it. So go home and sleep with your two eyes uh, closed. This is not a project you will think that we want to play politics, it's a project we have started, it's a project will be completed, and it's a project will be commissioned by Mr. President. Let me therefore invite the President to assure you that no area council has power when it concerns land. They have no power to eject you here. So we will give you a CO4 here to say that this property belongs to you. All we are doing, because we have always taken care of public buildings as it affects the three arms of uh, uh, government. So we will, by the grace of God, present it to you, give it to you. I will personally supervise this project. Personally supervise this project. I will not give any room. So I, therefore, would want to invite my Lord, the President of the Court of Appeal, to please Well, on behalf of the FCT, we want to sincerely give out this certificate of occupancy to the Court of Appeal, to the President, to let them know that this that land, whatever it is here, belongs to them. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. On that note, let me therefore invite my Lord, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, to come and speak to us and thereafter carry out the groundbreaking ceremony of the Court of Appeal Division. Thank you and God bless you.